Troops, it's your boy Jay. Welcome to another episode of Eaton West Weekly. Today we are in Emerson's Green in South Gloucestershire, Bristol. Check this year, we've been at this project for five weeks now. Within five weeks, we've done the demolition phase, we've done the new structure phase, we've done the HVAC first fix, we've done the air conditioning first fix, we've done plumbings, we've done electrics, and we're now at the stage of second fixing everything. One, two, three, four, five. This is the air conditioning unit, the MVHR thing is gonna get fitted inside. And how are they going to get this through that door? It's wider than the door. Know what I mean, Dave? Being serious, bro, that ain't going to fit in this gap. Last time you lot were here, this was the reception area. And you can see from the old images and new images, within a week, how everything's changed dramatically. The decorators are in at the moment, having their little phone calls. Um, the decorating is happening as we speak. We've got the drop ceilings are going down in all the surgeries and we're hoping to get them done by the end of the week. So if we give it, I'll give you guys a little guided tour of what's actually going on. Yeah. So these are, this is the hallway um, for the dentist surgeries. Um, air conditioning and the MVHR systems, they're all running in to the different surgeries as we're coming along. You can see how much pipe works actually hidden um, in places like this, especially in commercial properties. You don't get to see a lot of the stuff that we're showing you currently at the moment. And everything's insulated uh, so that in the elements, uh, nothing will ever go wrong. How's it hanging in? Sorry bro, I was on the phone outside, man. And I couldn't, uh, bro, the phone don't stop, man. Yeah. One of them ones, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. How's it going anyway? Yeah, it's all good. Good. yeah, just doing the second fix stuff, isn't it? So this is all for the drainage. That's the sunny flue, yeah, right? Yeah, so this is exactly where it's going to stay, isn't it? Yeah, oh, this is going to move over? Yeah. 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 Right, so we got, we, got, we got a basin going here. Yeah. We've got another one That's here. Basin, yeah. And then this is going to, sunny flue's coming in that corner. Yeah. And then it will get us connected up, yeah? yeah. So sunny flue troops, yeah? So basically, because of the drainage system, right, uh, a sunny flue, basically it crunches all the, the debris up, should we say, yeah? It's a nice word. It's going to crunch it all up, and then it sends it out through um, the little uh, 42 mil pipes, yeah? Uh, and this is, these are commercial pipes. You know, these pipes, it's not what you put in your normal houses, yeah? This is for commercial properties or dentist surgeries or people that are going to use sensitive, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sensitive liquids, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's it, man. Yes, Podge, how's it hanging? You enjoying Bristol? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Josh from Ian West. This is what we do. Painting right through. Yeah, to get the walls ready. Sand, scrape, you know, we've been doing that for five years now. I think we're the best, that's the, that's the team. You know, we've been doing that for a long time now, you know, have a good boss, getting big in the business, you know, and we continue been doing that and we're going to always been doing that, mate. So, you know, to get the wall looking like that, you know, we need to prepare sand, scrape out, you know, just get everything looking perfect, put the paint on it, get it ready. And this is what it does, you know, and we're looking to go further and better everywhere we go, you know? So, this is about it, and this is what we do, man. The best. So the guys are decorating and stuff at the moment. We've got a little bit of cleaning up and stuff like that. We've got here, we've got um, the air conditioning and the MVHR stuff is all done and dusted. That there, troops here, yeah, if you don't know, yeah, it's an exhaust system. Yeah, it's a silencer for, for all the sounds and stuff that the MVHR brings. So in the surgeries, you don't hear you know, all the rambo and all that. 
It's all done and dusted. So bro, what we're doing at the moment is we've got the grid system going in, so we're dropping the ceilings. Um, so we have a laser level going all the way around, 2.4 of the ceiling height, um, and then and this is the, the grid that we're working off. So these are the dentist surgeries. So we've walked along the, uh, so we were talking about the exhaust in this dentist surgery. We walked along here, along here, and we're in this room here at the moment. Um, and this is where they're, they're, they're doing all the, the, the drop ceilings for the, for the grid tiles. These uh, dashed lines on the drawings are the grid tiles. So what I've just said to uh, my guy Raj is I've said on the drawing it shows half tile, half tile, and then obviously full tiles. So let's make sure we're sticking to the drawings. Bro, do you guys want a hand? Shall I send a couple of my guys? Are you sure, yeah? Yeah, what is, what is that? The air conditioning unit, is it? Yeah. All right, and where is that? Is that going into the plant room? No, no. Oh, it's going here? Yeah. Oh, right, right. I'll feel like carrying it inside. So this is the external air conditioning unit that's going to be plugged outside. Um, and that's it. And that's running basically everything in all of the... That's it, apart from two units at the very front, which is coming off of that one there. Yeah, right, so two units uh, coming off there. Everything else is running off this big badger right here. Boom, and they're going to plumb it up and make it working, hopefully. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark Allen. This is Luke Bartholomew. I'm carrying out the air conditioning within my dentist. Um, at present, we're just looking to locate this unit there, which is a VRV three-pipe system, heat recovery, uh, which is going to serve 12 indoor fan coil units in each dentist room. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it, really. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with that. <laughs> Check this here. Remember in the last video we showed you when we were here, um, we showed you about the plasterboard and the sea studs and we showed you about the, the ply and stuff. So we've got a 15 mil plasterboard, sound block plasterboard, right, on the external phase and the internal phase here yeah, of the works. Um, we've got the sea stud uh, that obviously holds everything in place. We've then got ply on the internal face of all the surgeries. Um, with that, uh, and then obviously we've got our plasterboard. With the ply, they can then fix anything into any wall whenever they feel like doing it, and they don't have to worry about it falling off. Um, the other thing, obviously, now, for fire eggs and stuff like that, we've had to use a plasterboard because it meets the regulations. Um, we've got fire line door liners going in, and then we've got the fire line doors. I think the LDU, one of the doors is going to be a lead line door, but the rest of them are just fire check 30 minute. Um, one thing that we've got to note is um, uh, once we've got to put the floor in. Once the floor is in, that's when the door liners are going to go in after. The reason for that is for fire eggs, I think the tolerance for these doors is 2 mil. So we've got literally 2 mil um, that we've got to play with underneath. So we've got to make sure it's millimetre perfect um, so that if in an event of a, of a fire or whatever, Everything's pucker and everyone says, yeah, Eaton West did the best job in the world. Nice. Makita, man, they, I was Makita lover till day dot, right? Until they started giving us proper tools. Check this, yeah? All our tools are now Dewalt. The reason for that is Makita's Like, you can't say that, can you? But Makita's not good, right? They, everything's plastic, nothing's solid, nothing's good anymore. Dewalt is still a little bit durable. Yo, yo, yo. Yes. If there's stuff that you think we should be doing or filming or is something you would like to see, give us a comment below and we're gonna get it in the next video. So we've got our bathroom competition running at the moment, right, a thousand pounds worth of sanitary gear, or even if you want, first fix gear, whatever you want, a thousand pounds worth, yo, just like, share, subscribe, and tell all your mates. Guys, thank you for watching another episode of Eaton West Weekly. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.